People talk about love as if it's so intoxicating that it makes you ignore all the cracks. But if you notice the cracks, then is it really love? Love is not blind. It's about all the faults that you don't mind. When you fall in love with somebody, you commit to love them despite all their imperfections. When you can be so generous with someone else, why not with yourself? We're so busy trying to cover up our imperfections with the shiny parts of our personality that we don't give the care and attention that either parts of our personality deserves. Just acknowledging that you're still you despite your imperfections enables you to be a lot more gentle with yourself. What if you took the time to explore and acknowledge what makes you shine and what makes you whine so that you enable yourself to grow into the best version of yourself. Have you ever tried this? If you haven't, you must try this with me today. Hi, I'm Priyanka Bharadwaj, founder and CEO of Marriage Broker RT. We enable professionals make informed partner choices. On this channel, we talk about love, dating, relationships and marriages. If you've been watching for the last few weeks, we've been talking about self-love, why it's so important and how to get started on this fulfilling journey of loving yourself. Last week, you started exploring who you are and how some of the closest relationships in your life influence who you are. Today, you're going to take that a step further by reflecting, identifying and acknowledging what makes you you today and what makes the best version of you tomorrow. I'd like you to go back to your identity map that you built last week. Take a colored pencil, whatever color you like, and start circling the bits that make you really proud of who you are. It could be adjectives that you've used to describe yourself. It could be adjectives that your family or friends use to describe you. Start coloring the words that make you really proud of who you are. Now, I'd like you to stand in front of the mirror and say out loud who you are using the words that you have circled. How did you feel? Strange, isn't it? If you heard these things about somebody else, you wouldn't feel the same way, would you? So I'd like you to try again. Go stand in front of the mirror and say who you are using the words that make you really proud of who you are. Try it again. Try it today. Try it tomorrow. Try it every day until it stops feeling strange. Because this is you. Own it. Because it's okay to be proud sometimes. Now, take another color pencil, a different color this time, and start circling the bits that make you uncomfortable about who you are and things that you'd like to change about yourself. If you had all the power, time, and resources in the world, what would you like to change about yourself? And how do you intend to make these changes? Now I'd like you to go back to the mirror and start describing yourself using the words that make you really proud of who you are, including the things that you would like to change about yourself and how you intend to make these changes. How did it feel now? You felt a lot more in control, didn't you? When you hold yourself accountable, you always feel good and a little bit more in control. The same applies to a relationship with a loved one. When you hold each other accountable, it's called commitment. Love starts with intent, but it is seen through by commitment. If you're watching this video until now, it is very clear that you have every intention to love yourself. But it also means that you've already begun to commit to loving yourself. Next week, we'll be talking about ways to reward and incentivize you to be the best version of yourself so you can always stay connected with yourself. Your commitment will help you through this journey. So I invite you to stay tuned and be back next week. If you enjoyed watching today's video, feel free to share your feedback below. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, you may do so now by clicking the bell icon below. I'll see you next week. Ciao.